Hey Gorgeous, this is episode number 191. You are listening to Heart Sales Podcast. I'm your host, Christine Schlonsky, and I'm super pumped you're here for another Variety Friday. So let's dive right in because I have been making observations all day long, well, actually all this week about how I sabotage myself. And I just thought I share because it's gotten to a degree where I just sit there and I watch myself and I'm in awe. I'm so amazed of all the different ways I'm coming up to not do the work. And it's fascinating because I love what I do. And today I'm actually going to talk to you why it took me so long to do this episode. I sit here, I have five different topics I want to talk to you about. And I just couldn't get myself to get started. And I thought that's so interesting that right now I'm just going to talk about this because once I have recorded this episode and it will go out to the person who makes it all pretty and puts the intro and all those pieces so that you have a wonderful listening experience, it's going to be too late. So it's probably not going to be on time for tomorrow's podcast schedule. Hopefully it comes out on this Variety Friday, but I don't even know by now. And I find it so fascinating because, you know, I put create the podcast obviously in my calendar. I block off time. And this week I have just moved this blocked time to the next open spot on the next day. And then the next day and the next day. And so here we are. It's Thursday evening in Germany and the podcast is supposed to come out Friday morning, seven o'clock. That's usually the time when I schedule all the podcast episodes. And I'm still sitting here like all day long. I could have done it this morning to have a decent chance, you know, with an extra email apologizing that I sent in the episode so late, but I just didn't do anything. And... You know, I had a couple meals extra or a couple snacks extra that I usually wouldn't have. I had uh, chocolates today that I usually, well, wouldn't have, not in this form and quantity. And it's just, I'm just sitting here and I'm amazed. So I did all different kind of things today, just not recording as I required from myself. And maybe you can relate. Maybe you have those days where you really don't get stuff done and you know you have it on your list. You are usually excited about doing it, but then there is one of those days where you just sabotage yourself. And this is one of those days. I just finished a call with my mom because I felt I have to call her. I haven't called for a long time. Then I had to go uh, back to the kitchen to get myself another glass of water. And then I had to go because I wanted another piece of chocolate. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, going into my office, going out of my office like all day long. And I wasn't really productive in terms of the podcast. So I just thought instead of covering other topics that I have planned, I just thought I'd do this for you because I know that everybody gets stuck at some point. And no matter where you are in your journey, how successful you are, you probably have those days. And, you know, sometimes it's not a day, it's like half a day or maybe it's just an hour and then you get over it. But, you know, I observed myself for the whole week and I noticed that I, you know, obviously when I talked to clients, I delivered and I was spot on, but with all the kind of more flexible things in my calendar, this week was pretty difficult. And, you know, if staff was not, did not have a designated time in my calendar, I just kept moving it. And even with a podcast production, just recording this episode, I kept moving it and I, I don't really know why to be completely transparent and honest. I just couldn't get myself to do it. And now while doing it, I feel the joy coming up. I feel a stretch, a little bit of a stretch to share. But on the other hand, 
uh, we all have these days where things just don't work out. And sometimes these days turn into weeks and sometimes weeks turn into months and sometimes months turn into years. So I hope that you don't bring yourself into the situation where this happens, that you really, really get help and support, some accountability and momentum. And while I share the story with you, it's kind of ironic because I have a new laser coaching program where people coach with me for 15 minutes and it's all about momentum, right? These are clients that have graduated, but they still want some support. So they have the opportunity to ask a question, get some support around it. So they keep the momentum, they keep the accountability. And it's so ironic because I just had a call this morning about the momentum, about taking action, about being aligned. And here I am not getting my own podcast episode done. And it's it's really just interesting to observe. So I would love for you to share. I mean, write an email to info at christineschlonsky.com and please share your story with me. Where do you sabotage yourself? Where do you really are aware that you sabotage yourself? What are you doing about it? So finally, after I dragged along the time to record this episode for the whole day and I knew it's going to be the last day and I needed to get it done actually this morning so that by the latest I could upload it tomorrow before seven so it's in the podcast schedule but this is probably not going to happen but who knows so it's really interesting and I think how I de decided or how I kind of stop the self-sabotage was actually talking to my husband about it because he does hold me accountable and I hold him accountable. And I, we were just having the conversation. I was like, I don't I don't get it. I mean, I, I watch myself all day long sabotaging. And, you know, we met in the kitchen when I went for another snack. And he was like, what's, what's going on? I was like, I still haven't recorded. I can't believe it. I watch myself sabotaging myself, but it feels like I can't do anything about it. I'm just in amazement <laughs> how how great I am in sabotaging and I don't even know what's causing it. And so he was like, well, do you have topics to talk about? I was like, yeah, I have like I have five different topics that I wanted to tackle. And uh, I, it's not a problem that I don't know what to talk about. I just I just can't make myself do it. And he was like, well, maybe that's what you should talk about. And I was like, yeah, I just thought the same thing coming down to the kitchen. <laughs> I thought, why don't I share the struggle that so many people have? And we probably don't talk about it. So we think we are all by ourselves, but we're not. And I would love to know where you struggle and how you sabotage yourself. And, you know, if you go to the refrigerator to get another snack or if you go for chocolate or whatever you do, I'd kind of lo love to know. And then also I would love to know how do you get yourself out of this funk? And the intention is to kind of collect your stories so I can do a podcast episode just with ideas and tips how to get yourself out of it. So for me today, it kind of started with just thinking, well, you know, whatever, I'm just going to share with my audience what's happening and how I feel. I'm quite sure they feel the same. And then talking to my husband kind of helped to sit down and put it into action right away, because otherwise I might have taken another half an hour, who knows. And it's so fascinating. And yeah, I would love to know where do you sabotage yourself or do you have a certain pattern? And I find it quite ironic because this week's in this week's episode shared with Aaron File, it was so funny because we talked about the belief system. We talked about unlocking your power in episode 189. And we talked about are your beliefs true in, one, in episode 190. And it's all about the belief system about the mindset, and here I am, sabotaging. And I know we all have that. I, I know my friends have it. I know my family members have it. And I, I know you have it. 
The question is, how long do we stay in this unproductive state? How long do we allow ourselves to deal with indecision, right? How long do we stay in this place? And also, how do we evaluate if if it's really what we love to do or maybe if something needs to change? And just by recording it right now, I know I love to do it because the wonderful feeling is back. And I know oftentimes that when I really don't feel like it and I can get myself to get started, it becomes so much easier. So here's another tip I want to throw in. Because if you are cold calling people, for example, or do you you want to cold call people, you probably sabotage yourself as well. Because picking up the phone to call a stranger is no matter where you are on your journey, probably daunting. And, you know, sometimes it's just a little, come on, let's do it kind of thing. And sometimes it's a huge thing. And so many people sabotage themselves. They do a call. And when the call goes well, they might do another one and they might do another one. So maybe they get up to five calls and then they just feel so exhausted that they need a break. And if those five calls weren't good, they just form the belief that it's not working. And then to get yourself back into the game is like this huge thing. So I always had a look when that happened to me when I was still in my corporate job where, you know, I was cold calling more or less every single day. I was always in the place to get that momentum after the fifth or the sixth call. Right, I had to push myself a couple times. Not every day, but some days, especially those the day I'm describing to you right now. And then you just let it flow. You just allow it to be no matter what the outcome. You just die the number. You kind of make a game out of it. You die the number, you check in. And, um, you know, back, back in corporate, it was always we had to get to the decision maker. That meant the CEO, the general manager, the owner of the company. So all these people had assistance, right? And they were prepared to block you to only get the important calls through. So there was no easy way to just dial a number and get to the person. You had to do the detour in 99.9%. So, you know, just being open to whatever happens with the conversation with the assistant and just keep dialing numbers helps. Because then at some point, maybe after your fifth number, maybe after your 10th number, you will get through. And then, you know, if it works out, you will have an amazing conversation and that's going to give you so much energy and will help you through the next conversations. And that's what I love about sales, that you can turn it around every single moment because with the next conversation, you never know what you're going to get. It might be awesome, might be your next client. And it could also be like that somebody just hangs up on you. You never know. But the more you put in, the more you get out. And I think that's what I want to leave you with, that if you self-sabotage, it's okay. That's human. Just make sure that a day doesn't turn into a week and the week doesn't turn into a month and the month doesn't turn into a year and the year doesn't turn into years because that's lost, right? So you want to make sure that when you notice, as soon as you notice yourself sabotaging, observe, maybe take notes, ask yourself questions. Why is this more important to me? Why, for example, is it more important to me to have an extra snack right now, even though I'm not really super hungry uh, than recording the podcast episode? Why is it more important to me right now to call my mom <laughs> than to record a podcast episode? Why is it more important to me than checking my emails that are not urgent right now than recording the podcast episode? And it's interesting to see what happens and what kind of answers you get. And maybe you don't even get an answer. Maybe you just have to decide to take action to get over it, right? And once you're over it, you get that momentum. So right now, everything's good. I'm probably going to record the next episode for next Variety Friday because I do have my topics that I want to share with you. 
But I thought it's important to have the conversation about sabotage, because as an entrepreneur, if you don't have an accountability partner or a coach that you check in with regularly, that could be an issue that could turn out into a long-term struggle. So make sure you have someone in place that you can share with, that you can share ideas with, that you really can get inspired by and get that momentum to put yourself into the game, right? Only when you are in the game, you can play the game. Just watching the game is not that much fun, right? So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for sharing, for listening, to my share and for your shares, hopefully via email. I would love to read about your story at info at christineschlonsky.com. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Don't self-sabotage. Remember, stop just dreaming, act now. And I can't wait for you to tune in to the next episode. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day wherever you are in this beautiful world. And I'm saying bye for now.